Yo, what's up? It's Yo Rumi. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. I do a lot of videos talking about building and launching online marketplace startups, uh, such as Studio Time, which has uh, been called the Airbnb and Music Studios, and is the largest online uh, marketplace for music studios in the world. So it was actually built using a Share Tribe a few years ago, um, their hosted platform and highly customized. And then the current site, which you can see at www.studiotime.io, uh, still runs on Share Tribe, but uh, their Flex platform. Um, so I want to do a brief kind of um, just an unedited screen share that basically walks through uh, Share Tribe Flex as far as their product roadmap, um, and then how uh, basically as a Flex operator or marketplace, you can see kind of some of the features that they're going to launch, and then you can understand how the process works to where then you can update your marketplace and continue to add new features and kind of customize it for your marketplace needs. So as you can see right here on the screen share, we're just at uh, the URL sharetribe.com slash flex slash roadmap. So this is actually the uh, share tribe, uh, their internal um, roadmap that they share with their um, customers that use share tribe flex. So you can see over here, it's just a simple columns over to the left as far as what was recently completed. And then over here, um, as far as a Q2 2020, you can see what they're um, working on uh, right now. And then over to the far right, you can see um, the focus areas for this coming year or this calendar year. So these are some things that um, they have identified that they're going to focus on, but they don't know when uh, as far as like when a timeline on when that will be released. So as a marketplace operator, it definitely makes sense um, to kind of continually look at that or look at this document right here. So you can see what the team is planning to um, basically to improve and release to all their flex uh, marketplace operators. And then you yourself can correlate that to your specific marketplace product roadmap yourself and kind of see, um, you know, what makes sense to go ahead and customize now. Or maybe you might want to kind of put that on a backlog because they might be releasing that feature themselves um, to all Flux marketplace operators. And it might make sense to just kind of um, backlog that until they actually release it. And then you can uh, then implement it in your marketplace at that time. So that's just a way to kind of save time and resources. Now, I do want to mention um, that, of course, you can reference this kind of roadmap. And I'll link uh, in the description to this video so you can check it out. Um, so you're going to, of course, have your own marketplace, uh, your product roadmap. And basically, um, if there is a feature or some kind of functionality that you want to customize for your marketplace, um, if the back end functionality is not supported by ShareTribe Flex, then, of course, you would have to um, spin up your own kind of database to uh, account for that on, say, for instance, like MongoDB or whatnot. And then uh, account for it, obviously, in the front end of your uh, UI of your marketplace, which you're going to host anyways. So Flux, um, if you're not familiar with it, is basically uh, kind of like a marketplace backend as a service. Uh, so it has a lot of core marketplace functionality. And then um, as a Flux marketplace um, an operator, you uh, basically kind of host your own uh, front end or kind of UI um, on your own. So when ShareTribe does release an update to their backend um, and to all their Flex users, sometimes that requires a UI change. So, um, so you will have to then kind of take a look at that documentation and see that update and then see, do you need to make any kind of design and kind of front end uh, UI changes to your marketplace then uh, before you then release that update live to yours? So we're actually going to check this out right here. So this is the uh, Share Tribe has a um, a Slack uh, channel for all their Share Tribe Flex marketplace operators and their kind of like developer ecosystem. So you can actually see it right here. So I'm on the uh, Flex releases channel. So just to kind of give you a little bit more insight on how uh, they actually announce their new releases or updates to Flex, um, that is going to be primarily through this. Um, through this Slack group right here. And so you can see one of the team members just announcing right here on March 26, um, a new kind of update, which is like a new capability in the marketplace API and integration. So for instance, this is gonna be like a filter listing by time-based availability. So um, just to give a little bit more kind of, uh, I guess a contextual example to this. So this is some functionality that they released um, that is kind of through their backend API, but of course it is a user kind of um, functionality that will require changes to your UI. 
So what would happen, say for instance, if Studio Time wanted to implement this is, is we would actually kind of check out this documentation that they share right here. And then we would have to make any kind of correlating changes to our UI um, or our kind of front end on our staging. And then basically um, make sure that we account for that UI kind of change and then basically update our code kind of with their uh, update um, and merge that. And then we would then push that live um, to our marketplace. So, um, so basically in short, uh, you know, you're going to have your own kind of user feedback um, and user kind of like feature requests, which then kind of like uh, makes up your, your own, um, I would say like product roadmap for your own marketplace. And then ShareTribe, of course, has their own kind of product roadmap for Flex, which is their, their core kind of uh, marketplace offering. Um, and of course, they support, I think, over 100 marketplaces that run on top of ShareTribe Flex now. So they're going to continually um, improve uh, Flex and its capabilities. Um, and, you know, they're going to be doing so kind of in um, following this kind of roadmap. And when they do, then they announce that in their Slack group uh, right here that you can see all the different releases um, to all their marketplace operators and developers. And then as a marketplace kind of team and development team yourself, then you can kind of reference these changes and see if there's something that you, you want to make um, live to your marketplace. Um, and then, of course, you know, that's kind of up to you as a marketplace operator or team um, to then update. So anyways, I just wanted to make a brief kind of video that just walks through as far as, um, you know, how you update your ShareTribe Flex marketplace or kind of add some different customizations as a marketplace operator. And then some of the, uh, some you know, I would say like the product roadmap for ShareTribe Flex and some of the things that they're working on. So you can see right here, um, they have uh, quite a bit that they're working on. So for instance, this uh, management experience which uh, basically refers to the uh, console or the kind of the admin side of things. Um, also, the, the next one below that is going to be like the marketplace API. Um, and then uh, down here, as far as integrations. So this is quite a bit. Um, and when they do uh, release some of these changes and make these improvements to share tribe flex, of course, it'll be um, a lot better for all the different marketplaces that are currently running on flex and then others that are looking um, to get started and use ShareTribe Flex so that way they can customize it more uh, for their specific needs and a lot easier. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, if you have any kind of questions about ShareTribe Flex or uh, you know how to get started building a ShareTribe Flex marketplace yourself, um, or if you need kind of help customizations uh, with customizations, definitely reach out to us at Thinkbox. So we actually specialize in ShareTribe Flex um, builds and customizations. I'll link down below, but comment if you have any questions, hit the subscribe um, if you found this helpful and the like. It uh, keeps me motivated to make these videos. Until the next video, see ya.